Okay. What do you think about that, Dale? You, well, what's the found of you, Saul? I come. It's found of the you. Fa yeah. <laughs> Too. Look at big. Look at that. Look at fat fucking Lenny in the. I mean, I don't want to fucking tear your throat out and shit down your neck. I'll fucking cut you up and dump you in the Everglades. Blahas uh, uh. getting orders to, to, to blow ho. Now that Andrew and Jason had made amends and settled their differences, Jason was able to get back on camera just like he wanted. However, Jason would have to get used to Andrew filming other members of the gym and him not being the sole attraction. Not sole. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I took some gym. Jason, what the fuck are you doing, dude? That's too bad. Jason, go away. Never got to use. Jason, go lock yourself in the steam room or something. Jesus. How sickening is that? Woo! <laughs> Hello, <So>. everybody. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Go back to the sauna or the steam room or wherever you came from. Despite Jason clearly not enjoying having to share Andrew's time, he did appear to be taking working out and his diet way more seriously than people were used to seeing. You're looking good. Yeah. I'm you're, you're looking good. No, like in all seriousness. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Yeah, it's paying off. This is sick and good for him. This is even sick. Boom. No, you're doing a good job. I know what I'm doing now. Are you sticking to your meal plan? Yep. Well, you can tell. It's obvious. This is because of a man named Adam Harper. Adam Harper was a boot camp coach and was now in charge of trying to get Jason in the best shape of his life. Adam seemed genuine about helping Jason and seemed to really care about helping him finally get in great shape. It's just a shame that Jason didn't seem to care all that much about Adam. Jason was supposed to pick up Adam at the airport last night uh, upon his return from Fiji. Jason, the iron chauffeur, was a no-show. Jason, very important question. Do you know whose birthday it is today? Mm -mm. I am very disappointed. Let me give you a hint. His name is Adam Harper. Oh, it's Adam Harper. He cooks your meals for you? Dri yeah. Drives you around? Yeah, I know. It's his birthday today. You <laughs> ungrateful bag of used syringes. So, with the help of Adam, Jason was starting to show progress. Exactly what progress, though, was up for debate. Richard, do you, what is Jason's body fat percentage right now, if you had a guess? I'd say 20, uh, 30, 20 to 30 percent. No, well, I'm not. no fuck body fat. No fuck. Didn't Adam just test your body fat and it was, what, yeah. 19? But that's on a ca that's not on a calibers. Calibers are more accurate. The one to pinchers. I already got my body fat checked by Adam. I was close. I was almost right. I think he said you were 16.8. No. Wrong. 16.4. Adam posted 16.8. No, he did not. Yes, he six. did. Six. I can go on your Facebook no, page. 16.6, 6, not four, not eight. Six. Six. Don't argue. It's 12 or 13 on pinchers. So you went from 12 a month ago to 19 now? No, it's on pinchers. It's different. Pinchers, water. There's, there's. Okay, Jason? It said 16.6. 6. I look, remembered. I remembered. I have an excellent memory in certain areas. I remember. Okay, come here, big boy. Is your cell phone handy? I already know. I don't want to argue with you. Uh, I already know. Wow. You're in the you're in the 15 to 18 percent. I got tested at 14 percent. You're 14? Yeah. How, what was the test? It was testing in a tub at FAU. You did the underwater? Wait, when did you do that? That was years ago. No, a couple of days ago. No, you did not. Yeah, I went there. Jason, you're talking I to me. I got 14 percent. I paid 100 bucks for that. Oh my God, Jason, we're talking about point two. Two, it's two, it's two counts, two counts, two counts. Two tenths of a percent we're quibbling over. No. It's yeah, not that serious. 16.6, .6, I already know. Jeez. Oh my God. I still I still call bullshit on the test at FAU. But well, they don't bullshit. They, that tub is so accurate. No, I'm saying don't. I don't believe that you did that. Yeah. Did you bring in that sheet of paper? Saying no. that you got tested at FAU? I forgot that you, it. You forgot it? Yeah, I was in the a rush. The printout? I was in a rush. Uh-huh. 
Oh. All right. All right. If you say so. Jason had previously mentioned how he was going to train with former Mr. Olympia, Dorian Yates. And although that was looking less and less likely with every video that passed, thanks to Adam, he did get to meet another former Mr. Olympia in Ronnie Coleman. Hey, Ronnie, so he's a, kind of a big deal. People, people know. No, your coach is me, Jason. Meeting Ronnie, even though a brief encounter, had seemed to inspire Jason. But when Jason does start to take things more seriously, he becomes a little too self-involved for some. And they're gonna see how you lost weight, got big. Yeah. Got ripped. Got no, no. Wait, remember what we talked about about social etiquette when someone compliments thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to work on Jason. See, when people compliment him, he says, "Yeah, yeah, I know." People are gonna remember me as a god forever, like, like, like Troy, like Achilles' heel. I'm a god forever. I'll be remembered for thousands of years to come. He becomes too busy concentrating on himself to worry about anyone else. Jason, will you help Chuck if he gets stuck? Yeah. Or like, like you helped that guy when he was benching. <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! When he almost died. That got a lot of views. Oh my! Do you hear this? His no, I'm just saying that. One person always willing to call Jason out for not doing the right thing, as well as calling him out for some of his more questionable claims, was Big Richard. I can't do it anymore. I was in two major car accidents. I was in a car accident. What do you mean you were a major? That's bullshit. No when, when did you ever squat 105 pounds? I have. When? 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 Yeah. Ten years ago? Yeah. yeah. Pull the needle out of it. Go. How old is Jason? 28. He's 28. So when he was 18, he squatted 405 pounds of full of shit. You look like a fucking Pillsbury Doughboy when he was 18. Comments on the Misfit video started to ask about the cuts on Richard's lip and the damage to his face. Well, several years earlier, Richard suffered from skin and throat cancer. He lost about 25 pounds worth of muscle due to the radiation therapy, and it took him around six months to build his physique back up. Sadly, Richard's cancer had come back, and despite Richard having to go through all of this again, at the gym, he was still the same old big Richard. All the women would look at him, you know, he had more pussy chasing him than, you know, anybody. <laughs> Richard, you'll never change. <laughs> we love him, we love him just the way he is. I'll tell you when, this week, maybe for New Year's, I'm gonna rock your world. <laughs> Nice guy, huh? <laughs> oh, Richard. I'm more of a philosophical uh, womanizer. <laughs> Another member of the gym always willing to call Jason out was Brad. Brad had appeared in earlier videos, but just for a few seconds and just in the background. But as time went on, Brad started to appear a little more. However, he was still not a fully-fledged misfit at this point, and whenever Brad did appear on camera, it was usually to call Jason out for his apparent lies, or for the fact that he stinks. Not at working out, or sticking to a diet, but a literal stink. Brad, you just walked by Jason and winced. You gotta, you gotta do soap. I know, you work at Publix, you get a discount on soap and deodorant. Disgusting this morning, man. Did he even realize it or not? Um, I don't think he did. No. What did he do today? So I know not to use those machines. Um, he he smelled like somebody chopped up an onion and mixed it in a bowl with with a pile of shit. You can't smell yourself. No. You reek. <laughs> this guy just laughs. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> Curled and he was on a treadmill for about six to seven minutes. Oh, good. All right. I'm good. Yeah. I'm not doing arms today. It's Jason, where are you? Come defend yourself. Sickening no-show. Take a shower first. As well as Brad starting to appear in more Misfit videos, so did a man named Chuck. Um, Chuck, you're a dick, bro. <laughs> and a man named Sean. Well, you, we, have a, we have insider information right here. He's a former yeah, police would officer. Do, what would you do if someone pulled him? If it was a if it was a guy, easily a hundred and fifty dollar ticket. If it's a hot girl, no. <laughs> there was also a reference to some guy called Big Lenny, whoever that is. You see Big Lenny? Mm-hmm. You ever seen him before a show? He's ripped. He's ripped. And he's twice my size. And he's got he's got body fat mostly in his stomach. And on the 19th of December 2013, we are introduced to Will for the first time. 
Will had been in a few earlier videos, but just in the background. Andrew had spoken to him off camera and had not thought to ask him if he would like to appear. The first thing you'll notice about Will is that not only is the man in fantastic shape, Yeah, that's pretty lean! Where's Jason for that shit? <laughs> but that he is also extremely friendly. What's your, what's your name? I see you here My every- My name's Will. Will? I'm Andrew, bro. Hi. Awesome, man. I see you here Sensing a young buck had appeared in his territory, the old alpha, Sol, must now show his dominance. I think you should challenge him to a pose down. Okay. Huh? A little pose down with Will? What do you say? That sounds good. How you feel? You feeling cut up today? Yeah. You feeling good. shredded? Oh yeah. Do you concede defeat, Saul? No. <laughs> you, you concede defeat? I'll give you a couple of weeks. All right, I'll give you a couple of weeks. We may not get an official pose down between Will and Saul, but a lot of Andrew's attention was on these two giants of the gym battling it out. So, of course, a certain other Misfit member didn't like this and would challenge Will to a real pose down. There is clearly only one winner, but I'm not exactly sure how Will has a better body than Jason. Uh, Where the hell did Jason go? Did he just I, leave the gym? I don't, I don't know, but... Jason just did three sets of incline presses and he just left the gym. Yeah, he comes in for 10 minutes and he leaves. What kind of work? He did three that? incline... <laughs> Are you going? Are you leaving? Yeah. You're gonna call it a day? I wanna go home and eat. Go home and eat? La, 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 At least la, la. sing for him. Jason, what's that? Happy to mention where he's getting the iced tea from. Did he say Dunkin' Donuts? Yes, he did. Are you. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did say Dunkin' Donuts? I didn't hear. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's gonna come back with like chocolate glaze all around his mouth, man. <laughs> Yes, even though it seemed for a while that Jason was taking things more seriously, it wasn't long before he would fall back into his old ways. The reason why I lie to Adam about what I eat is... I, I only ate that, that, that was a week, a couple weeks ago, now I'm more strict now, that was on the... As well as Jason falling back into his old ways, he would often tell questionable stories, and many in the comments began criticising Andrew for not calling Jason out for these apparent lies, and for Andrew not being harsher on Jason. Andrew explained that if he was harsh and called Jason out, that Jason would simply get angry, storm off, and there would be no video. 
but the comments criticising Andrew became so great that Andrew decided to do a little experiment to prove to the fans that he knew what he was doing. Jason, I'm calling bullshit. I don't think you ever squatted 405. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, bro. Oh, yeah, I did, bro. I, I think... Doubt it. Yes, I did, bro. Long time ago, before you even knew me. Well, I met you in 2007, right? I was in the car accident in 05. I think you have a better chance of getting admitted to Harvard Law School no, bro, I than ever squatting 405. I did, bro. I did. I have it on video in the very first video. Where? Part what video? Part one, my story, part one. There is n no, that's three plates on each and side. And I did over 400 back then. Yes, I did. Way back then, yes, I did. Bro. For eight reps? Yes. The most I ever did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm not lying. Yes, I think I you're a mentirosa. That no. means liar in Spanish. No, I'm not lying, bro. You know what? I'm not lying. Andrew was right. He called Jason out and he was having none of it. This experiment went a long way in convincing people that Andrew was not just some guy holding a camera, but that he knew what he was doing with Jason, as well as knowing what he was doing with the channel. And by now the channel was really starting to take off, and on the 1st of January 2014, Andrew uploads a video where he tells the audience that he simply can't reply to all of the comments the channel gets anymore, showing just how popular it was becoming. And that was only a good thing for Andrew, because he clearly wasn't enjoying his regular job. Well, I'll tell you what boys, I would love to stick around, but I uh, have to go make the donuts as they say. Oh really? Love my job, working every fucking weekend. Lucky him, I'm jealous. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll be slaving away at my job while he's in Fiji, good for him. Well, I am in the process of working a little over two weeks straight, so it has not exactly been too much fun. How was your new year? Good? Yeah, how was your new year? Shitty. What? I worked, and then I worked some more, and then... Oh, really? Wait, let me think. Yeah, I worked some more. And he had recently seemed a little down, because most people went away to see their families for the holidays, while Andrew just stayed at home. But when Andrew was down, there was only one man who can cheer him up. Wait for it, wait for it, <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. I mean, by the way, I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. How was okay. your Thanksgiving? Happy holiday. To you as well. Yeah. How was Thanksgiving? I don't know, up but I got something for you. What do you I have for me? back from Jersey. What did you bring back from Jersey? Did you bring me like a Jersey skank? No. With big hair? No. Your granddaughter CD. That's for you. I am gonna bump this in my Jeep when I drive through the hood. I can really have this? To Andrew, thanks for everything. I really appreciate it, Candace Lee. This is the best gift I am gonna get this holiday season. That's your gift. Seriously, thank you very much. You see that, everybody? Huh? Everyone's gonna think you and I are like potheads. <laughs> All we do is just laugh, man. As soon as I start filming you, I just start laughing and you just you just laugh too. Right? Now that everybody was back from Thanksgiving though, the Misfits channel could carry on. But there were still questions left to be answered. Where on earth was Mike? Have you seen Mike at all lately? No, I haven't. I haven't. You know why I haven't seen him? Why? Because I beat him to death in the parking lot. I took his cane and beat him to death. I thought he was dead. I left him for dead. He's not dead. He's alive. And they took him to the hospital. He's recuperating at Delray Medical Center. Would Brad become a real misfit? How would Big Richard's health hold up? And would Jason ever stop talking about body fat? 14.9? 14. 14. <laughs> Find out on the next episode of the history of the Delray Misfits. That's about it. I don't know what else to tell you. That works for me. And take care of your loved ones, especially your girlfriends. If you need advice, just write in and I'll give you some advice on what to do with your girlfriend. <laughs>
What's fucking ripped? It's peeled. Well, I've heard as low as 14 from the FAU test. And 16 right? from Adam. The mysterious FAU water Adam. test. And 16 from Adam. Which has never been confirmed. And 16 or from Adam. 16, per 16 even? Yeah, from Adam. I'll stick around for another segment. I'm going to tell Jason again he looks like he's got a 30% body fat. <laughs> That'll drive him crazy.